Right, well I'm getting fed up with using these heaters. That's a two kilowatt, and that one there is a two kilowatt to try and eat my shed up. By the time it warms up, it's time to go in. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot of gear in my shed, and I want to build that plane now. I want to get it done. So I'm going to look for an alternative. There's got to be something out there, but this I'm fed up with this. Right, this is where I fitted the unit. And it's been running for 7 minutes now, no, 30 odd minutes now from uh, its start. It's quite toasty in here now, I'm not doing bad at all. And it's already backing off. And if I show you the display, hopefully you'll be able to see that. There we go. The pump is backing off. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the way to go for anything like the shed or anything like that. It's brilliant. Um, it's all compact, nice and easy to do. And, uh, you know, it is so simple. It really is. So I can say goodbye to these blasted old fan eaters that I've got down here. Now yeah, look, this is what I was using before. Waste of time. Oh. So it's, you know, if you put a fan eater up against this, look. There you go. There's a fan eater up against it. So, you know, what, two fan eaters wide? Uh, in length rather. You can't go wrong. It really is an amazing bit of kit. All it is, and this is really kicking it out. So this is nice. And also, now it's not noisy. Now it's backed off, and it's gone on to normal mode, if you like. Now it's just to maintain the heat. It's not noisy at all, and I don't think it will be too bad outside, but you do need to fit a silencer, really. Just to give you an idea, at the moment I'm running um, this unit off of just the battery, and uh, I have got the battery on charge there to make sure that the voltage stays, uh, stays up. But I'm not uh, really, I'm not too bothered about it. I might put it on a power supply and have the power supply wired in. I've already wired in up here a socket that will stay on all the time and if I go through a power supply I reckon it'll only be about 3 watts, 4 watts, something like that, that's all and that will keep the clock going and everything else. I haven't tried the remote control yet that's the only other thing that I haven't done but I'm well impressed. Really really nice bit of kit. Really is a nice bit of kit.